Welcome everyone, I find this so crazy. Yesterday I had Amazon scam me out of £1,400, the 14 Pro Max, and now Samsung, they want my money too. So let's take a look at this together. This is a temporary hold of £710 against my account. Now you may be like, what is this? Okay, I mean, £700, it says Samsung UK. What, did you buy a new phone? Okay, well this right here is my Z Fold 3. Uh, this was the device which I got £710 off of if I were to upgrade to the new Z Fold 4. I got the Z Fold 4, but to be honest, it was the Fold 3 with a smaller, you know, outside screen, with like, you know, less bezel here. So I well, <laughs> returned the Z Fold 4. I got my money back, and now today they are charging me because I didn't return my Z Fold 3. Hello? Uh, I returned the Z Fold 4. Do you want this for free? You want this free phone? Who wants this free phone? No, that's not how it works. That's not how it works. And what's probably going to happen in a couple of days, hopefully not, but this could happen, is they're going to charge me for the Z Flip 3, which I never returned, because I returned the Z Flip 4. They're literally the same phone, in my opinion, okay? Uh, you know, they're great phones, regardless, but if you're going from a Flip 3 or Fold 3 to the Fold 4 and the Flip 4, it ain't worth it. It really is not worth it okay maybe if you have an unlimited bank account the changes are quite nice but they're not nice enough for me to spend a grand uh upgrading my fold 3 to a fold 4 in the us they give this these new phones for free they don't give it for free in the uk you know they're, they're not that nice they are not that nice so samsung they're trying to rip me off they said they're going to give me a refund because they're going to escalate this they haven't said they're going to give it they're going to say they're going to escalate it to the internal team if you're a YouTuber, you love that word, internal team. It's like a black hole. If they don't give the refund, because uh, I bought through PayPal, I can just charge it back, right? I bought through my PayPal debit card. I'm that special. <laughs> it's just such a crazy thing. So Amazon scammed me £1,400. I think it was £1,300. Sorry, I lied. <laughs> Only 1300 quid, you know, £100. Yeah. No, like, it's still a big deal. They, they literally put a speaker in my iPhone 14 Pro Max box and won't give me a replacement. Uh, they gave me the refund, yeah, but, you know, when you're a YouTuber, there's no time to waste. I don't have a month to wait for a new iPhone, please. You know, it's not like I'm going to be using the phone. I use my beautiful iPhone 12 mini here. This is this is the best device. I probably won't be upgrading this in, like, 10 years. Like, that's not even a joke, either. Uh, you know, it does, it does a job with a phone. I use the Z Fold 3 and the Z Flip 3 together uh, for about a year-ish. Not, not like a year, seven months. It, this was good until Android 12 came out and it ruined the phone. No, I just had enough with Samsung. You released a new Android, you screw up the, the the device, and it took months for them to fix. Like this phone was unlocking slower than an iPhone six on iOS twelve, and that that's not that's not a compliment, you know. That is not a compliment. So yep, Amazon forty nine hundred quid trying to rip off. They they gave the refund already. Uh, Samsung now they're now they're trying to take my money because I didn't give them a free phone. This is getting crazy. This is clown world. This is true clown world.